Now, once you get this far, once you have your sounds loaded in here, the next view that matters is the pattern view. So, and also these views. This lets you know the tempo. This lets you know which pattern you're in. Right now, we're in pattern one. And in pattern one, you could drag and you could drag instruments from here uh, right here and then now it's available and every time you drag an instrument if you click on it it'll show you the little control screen so you can see you know what the waveform looks like you could reverse it normalize uh, you know, phase stereo. I mean, you could do a lot of things right here. You could also have different control screens. This is all stuff I recommend you just play with and get familiar with. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of this in this tutorial. So the next thing, you could create a pattern right here. Since we're in pattern one, I could, I could do this by hand. Or I could just click fill these two steps. You know? So. And it does it. It has a loop at the end. You have to watch for used loop points. Whenever you see these red lines, that means there's a loop. So if you let it play, they will stack up on top of each other. Take that off, and you're good to go. And also, you see the little gap in front. Sometimes I like to take that out. If you want to mess with this waveform, you could go to Edit. It's going to pop up your Edison. And usually, I just take this off. Then I'll save sample as number two. And it'll be right here number two so now I have a new version of it that I can use without that little you know and now once you have your pattern you could fill your pattern like this you have the pattern view or you also have the piano roll which if you right click you can send it to the piano roll I still have the You know, pretty much you could play with it here, and whatever you do here, it's gonna go here. Now you have to be careful because this, the piano roll, the the pattern view will stop right here. Like it'll let you do the four bars. If you want to stretch it, you have to do it like eight, like this to get eight. Now, if I take it back to four with the piano roll, let me go to another instrument just to illustrate. See. The four ends right here, usually, and that's eight. So it's broken up. So now it'll look like this, but it'll play for the whole eight. You see? Oh, let me put it to the hat so you can hear when the drums come in. Because the drums are only going to play for the first half, and they're going to stop right here. Then the rest is going to play. But it doesn't show you that. And how you know that's the case is if you stretch it to eight, you see? It stretches to the end. If you stretch it further, it stops right here so you know that's how long it is so you just have to be careful with that it took me a minute to get a hang of it um, but once you do it's real simple okay so that's your two different views to create patterns uh, with this one you could fill it in like so use this or control the panning the velocity the velocity is pretty much the volume so pretty simple stuff